I am so proud to present the Community Champion Award to the American Red Cross. This organization is so important and so critical to our region. They've helped save countless lives with smoke detector installations, blood donations and blood drives, and been there for people in some of their darkest times. Locally, disaster relief often comes in the form of house fires or other types of structure fires. And it's our volunteers that show up no matter the time of day or the time of night to make sure those that are experiencing what in most cases is a life-changing event have the right services, support, and compassion to ease that transition. We at Giant Eagle are huge supporters of the Red Cross. I'd like to thank the Red Cross for everything they do. And a special thanks to all of the volunteers who work tirelessly to bring the organization's mission to life in everything they do. 90% of the work that we do is done by our volunteers. And without them, we cannot do what we do. The Red Cross is a national organization, but your local Red Cross is exactly that. We have a hyper-local focus, and that's what we do. We respond locally. Do we deploy at times? Yes, but in 2023, we responded to 1,600 disasters and serviced about 6,500 people. But the folks that respond to those disasters and they're part of what is called a disaster action team are primarily volunteers. I first decided to volunteer with the Red Cross in 2017. Maria had struck in the South. I was so impacted watching those images on TV. So I called someone I knew who worked for the Red Cross and I said, I can't deploy, I don't have time. I'm busy with my family, my job. And she said, you know what, Trish, we need you here in Allegheny County. I've always known about the Red Cross and known that they were good people that helped people and the blood drives and things like that. But I did not know of the impact that they had on residents, neighbors here in our community. When people are in need of, and you can fill that blank in with a lot of different things, whether it's blood services, whether it's disaster services, whether it's armed forces. We have the resources, the reach to be able to bring aid fast, to try to get people out of harm's way fast. Often we will get a call in the middle of the night. It could be a fire, flood, car into the building. We meet at the chapter, then we go to respond on scene, and we then work with the family to take care of their immediate needs. This could be blankets, water, making sure they have a safe place to stay. They may be able to dig through and find something that you can salvage. Unfortunately, in the state of Pennsylvania, we have a very sad and tragic statistic of being, over the past five years, four of those years, we were number one in fire fatalities in the nation. The other year that we weren't, we were number two. If you have a working smoke alarm, you have a 50% greater chance of survival, something that simple, and a lot of people don't have it. Any given year, we'll install between eight to 12,000 smoke alarms free to the clients, and we'll even do the installation ourselves. The Red Cross was born in the battlefields. Clara Barton saw just a tremendous amount of suffering during the Civil War, and it didn't matter which side they were on, she wanted to help and she did as a nurse. Think about this, a woman in the 1800s starting a national organization. That's an incredible history and legacy that we have here in this organization. We have over 700,000 veterans that live in this state. We have the second largest reserve population and fourth largest Army National Guard population. We have resiliency workshops that are for military families, veterans, and their family members. And their workshops to kind of just help them with just military life, the challenges and the stressors of, you know, having their loved one away in deployment. We do emergency messaging for military families. An example of that would be a service member who is deployed away from home or in training or in schooling, and they have an emergency here at home. So the family would call the Red Cross the Red Cross call center would verify the emergency and deliver it to wherever the service member is stationed. And then another one I would say is our VA program, where we have volunteers that visit our veterans at the VA hospitals or the state homes. We kind of just provide comfort and care. 
We're with the American Red Cross. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you guys. And uh, it's good to see you today. We took on initiative to do Fresh Fruit Fridays where we'll go and go room to room and just deliver fresh fruit and thank them for their service, have a conversation. It's, it's wonderful. I love it. A lot of veterans don't have families. We're just very blessed to be able to, to serve such a selfless and wonderful yeah, population. We have to pull that receiver off the back end, aren't we? Yeah. Blood services is, is a, a huge part of what we do. It's a large part of our operations, and it's an incredible statistic when you think that every two seconds, there's, there's blood that is needed. It's a huge life-saving mission. But the challenge with collecting blood is that, number one, there's a huge need, and we go through blood as a nation very quickly, and blood does have a shelf life. Not everyone is eligible to donate blood for various reasons, but a large portion of the population can. And the number one reason that they don't is that they're not asked. So I'm asking you, if, you, if you're eligible to donate blood or you don't know if you are or not, please come to us, redcross.org. You can donate blood and make a life-saving impact in about an hour. I would definitely recommend others to consider volunteering. It is a time when you are 100% giving. You are there because someone else needs you and you have the ability to help that person. Anyone who wants to volunteer in the Red Cross can. Simply go to redcross.org, Red Cross is one word, and there's a tab there that you can get to volunteer, or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. And you do not need any specific training, skills, we will train you in whatever it is that is of interest to you in the many missions that we have. Once you do get involved, it's kind of infectious. You're not gonna go away very soon. When I think about helping people at this moment, at this time when disaster strikes, I realize that they're probably in shock and they don't know what's next. And so what we do with the Red Cross, we kind of are there to hold hands, to give some support. And so when they look back at that moment of absolute disaster in their lives, they may not remember a lady named Trish was there, but they'll remember someone was there. Someone was there to help them to move on to the next step. And I really, it really means a lot to me to be that person. We're also very grateful to be honored by Giant Eagle and certainly by WQED uh, for this Community Champion Award. It's just nice to be recognized for the great work that our staff and volunteers do each and every day in support of the wonderful communities that we service and in which we live. Mm -hmm.